Due to the high level of heating required, buildings are consistently one of the leading causes of CO2 emissions and put a strain on the global climate as a result of their high energy consumption. They are responsible for 41% of emissions, ahead of transport with 28% and industry with 31%. In addition to protecting the climate, it is also a matter of conserving natural resources and saving unnecessary expenditure. Following the enormous increase in energy prices over the last 10 to 15 years, primarily oil prices, which are approximately 200% more expensive than in 1998, and gas prices, which are more than 100% more expensive than in 1998, the time it takes to recoup the costs of investment in, or conversion to, energy-efficient heat production and supply is decreasing all the time. Until the 1980s, poor or lack of any insulation at all was the cause of high demand for heating that relied on high system temperatures of up to 90 degrees Celsius. More than half of all households in Germany, approximately 21 million, and Austria, approximately 3.1 million, were built prior to the 1980s, and some are still equipped with outdated and inefficient heating systems. Since the 1990s, however, insulation standards have been progressively improving in newly constructed and renovated buildings, thanks to modern thermal insulation and highly insulated windows with multiple glazing. This has led to a sharp reduction in heating demand. This has now allowed renewable low temperature heat sources such as heat pumps and solar technology or modern condensing boiler technology to be installed in an increasing number of buildings. As a result, average system temperatures have fallen considerably to below 70 degrees Celsius and energy consumption has been reduced. So, by converting to efficient energy sources and intelligent heating systems, the potential savings can reach millions, if not billions, not to mention the savings made in CO2 emissions. To learn more about E2 Intelligent Technology, please visit www.vogelundnot.com and www.e2-technology.com.